Hello everyone, I'm Ben Branham with Modern Self Protection and Sparks Firearms. Today we're going to talk about guns and carrying guns around police officers. If you're a good person and you have your permit or it's legal where you carry, I hope you're carrying a gun all the time for your self, for your self protection and everybody else, just everyone. You can save yourself, you save your family, and you can help others that need it. It's a good thing. And I hope you're professional about it. So interacting with police officers when you have a gun, I have no doubt about it, especially after the shooting that happened this last week of a supposedly CHL carrier that was reaching for his gun. I watched the whole Facebook video a couple times and I, it looks bad for that police officer. It looks like he may have messed up big time, but we need to reserve ju judgment until all the facts are known. Hopefully there was a body camera for the cop. We can get the investigation, find out what everything that happened and then we can judge on somebody. But until then, let's look at it from our point of view. What can we do to make ourselves safe when we're around police officers with a gun? I'm around a, cops with a gun all the time. I carry a gun every day. So if I see a cop, I'm around a cop with a gun. I normally talk to him, say hi. And at gun shows when I'm working for Spark Firearms, I have a great joke around police officers because I'll be carrying a rifle or something. I'm gonna be like, hey, look at my great rifle. Isn't this cool? It's the only time you can get away with that right? with a police officer, right? If any other time, you'd probably be shot. So, hey, you know, I, I like to have fun with it. But let's start at the beginning. If you're gonna be around, you're gonna carry a gun, you need to be professional. You need to act professional. You need to dress professionally. You need to dress decently. And when I say professionally, you can see how I'm dressed. This is how I dress every day. A shirt and jeans or a shirt and tactical pants. It's not that bad. Just don't look like a thug. And then when you carry your gun, you gotta have a professional holster. Police officers out there, I ask you a simple question. How many bad guys have you found with a gun that are carrying it in a holster? The answer is like none. So if you're a good guy, maybe that's one of the things that can separate you from a bad guy. Is first get a stinking holster and get a decent one. Don't get the floppy crappy one that makes you look like, I don't know, one of these pictures on CNN lately of just idiots with holsters. Get a nice holster that covers the trigger guard, holds the gun securely, that way you don't drop it, doesn't fiddle around, and that way when the police officer sees it or talks to you about it, he, you can say, it's in a holster on my right hip. That makes it a lot better than it's shoved down the front of my pants, and we used to call it in Southern California Mexican style. It, it, old history, but anyways, don't carry it Mexican style. Get a nice holster, carry your gun correctly, and then that'll start it. Most of the time, most of us are going to be, I mean, what's the most likely thing you're going to do to interact with a police officer? You're either going to say hi to him on the street, where you may or may not tell him that you're carrying a gun. I have done it both ways. I started talking to a cop for about five minutes outside of the gas station one time, just getting gas because he was getting coffee, and we just struck up a conversation. I was BSing with him, and then he, oh, where do you work? I'm down the street at Sparks Firearms. You know, I'm on my way to work. And he's like, oh, I want to get a smaller gun to carry because blah, 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 blah. And I said, well, you know, you can carry a big gun without any problems. And at the time, I was carrying a Glock 19. And he goes, oh, yeah, well, you know, I don't really like it. And I'm like, I carry a Glock 19 every day and don't have any problem with it. And his eyes got all real big, and he's like, oh. And then he's like, oh, okay, you work for a gun shop, you probably have a permit. You can see his realization that I've been talking to him for a couple minutes, and I'm carrying a gun that's exactly like the one on his belt. And he kind of got a little nervous about that. But he got over it real fast. So when we do it in normal conversation, yes, they still get excited. They still go, oh, gun. And then they got to think about it a little bit. Because they've been trained again and again and again that cops carry guns and bad guys carry guns. So they have to get over that initial shock of it. So you got to have that patience with them. you got to let it happen or they're going to get you. So when you're interacting with them, you don't have to tell them that you have a gun. You know, you say, hey, how you doing? And he goes, hey, you got a gun? No. You know, even in the states where you legally have to, it's not until he requests ID or you're having an official interaction. Official interactions, what's the most likely we're going to have? I'm in my vehicle, a car stop, right? You were speeding, you made it, you missed a stoplight, you rolled through a stop sign. Uh, we've all done all these things on accident, I'm sure, because none of us would violate the law on purpose, right? Um, so when you actually get stopped by a police officer, it already started by you're dressed halfway decently, you've got a good holster on and you're carrying a gun correctly, and now when you stop the car, stop the car in a safe spot. If there's a side street you can pull off of, if you're on the highway, pull off where there's a giant area so the cop doesn't get hit by a car, pull off into a parking lot, 
if the if it's construction everywhere put on your blinker wait till there's a safe spot and just slow down so the cop knows that you're not trying to run from him that you actually see him and if you can pull into a parking lot off of the way out of a beaten path so that he is safe not to get hit by a car because it sucks if you both get hit by the car and if the police officer gets hit by the car while he's standing next to your window your car is probably going to get hit too so self-preservation find a good spot to pull off pull off park the car roll down your windows all of them at least the passenger side and the the driver's side if you can you know uh, don't reach over if you have the old school crank ones and go oh, over here because the cop can't see what you're doing if that's the case just roll down your window if you have power windows just roll down all the windows stop the car turn it off put your hands on the steering wheel and just wait yes it's patience he's gonna call on your plate he's gonna tell you everybody where you are he's gonna he's got a bunch of stuff that he's trying to do and you're thinking what's he doing back there he's working He's not just waiting for you. Police officers, not a bad idea to wait another 30 seconds just to see what happens, right? People get fidgety, can't hold their hold their uh, muster, can't do it. But just wait, patience, keep your hands on the wheel. When the police officer comes up, he's gonna say whatever he's gonna say, hey, this is Officer Johnson, I'm with Bear County Sheriff's, blah, 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 uh, you were speeding. All right, sir, what can I do for you tonight? I wanna see your license and registration. No problem, just wanna let you know I have a CHL and I am carrying. That's a better line than I have a gun. Don't say the word gun. Firearm is better. For some reason, and I did it as a young instructor, is that they use the gun as a go command. When you're on the firing line, they would go, okay, the line's ready. Instead of saying fight, draw, shoot, they would yell gun. So if you say gun, their mind's already going there that they're in a fight. So say something else. Hey, I have a license to carry. I am carrying a firearm and then generally do what he says leave your hands on the steering wheel wait for him to tell you what to do and then have a conversation with him I mean they might ask you what you're carrying where you're carrying how you're carrying why you're carrying why you're not carrying there's gonna be a ton of questions just to have the conversation with him but leave your hands on the steering wheel because he's gonna worry about your hands so once he tells you hey okay you know hey grab your right your registration all right hey it's in the glove box I'm gonna go reach for it there you go okay where's you know let me have your ID oh, it's in my pocket let me grab it for you and just move slow talk to him while you're doing it move slow is the biggest thing because if you get excited and you lift up that shirt like you're gonna go for your gun he's gonna get really excited and uh, one of you may have up shot don't do that so be careful sometimes if you speak calmly and slowly you can diffuse the whole situation if you're carrying a gun you should be a professional that is part of your job as a professional so go slowly hand him your his license whatever in most states they have a right to disarm you eh, I haven't been disarmed yet I've been pulled over dozens of times while I was carrying a gun um, I hope he doesn't because most of the time especially right now going to Sparks for work I'm carrying a, a actual retention holster and I have to explain that to him <sighs> yeah mm, officers please don't disarm me I feel really bad if you disarm me I feel the same way if somebody disarms you just saying so whatever he's gonna do, he's gonna do, let him do it. You do not have the right to fight him right there. And if you do fight him for any reason, you're gonna lose. So do what he says, do it slowly, do it calmly, talk to him the whole time, and you'll be okay. One last little note on carrying a gun and dealing with police officers. It really any time. If the police officer says you're under arrest, guess what, you're under arrest. There's no arguing with him, there's no fighting your way out of it, I mean, you may be able to talk your way out of it if you're very calm, but probably not. More than likely, you're under arrest. It's embarrassing. It's a pain in the ass. It's going to ruin your whole day, probably your whole week to your whole month. Uh, one of my friends is dealing with this right now. It's been preying on him for a couple months. He was actually arrested illegally, it looks like. And it's going to ruin your day. But if you fight him, if you argue with him, especially if you're carrying a gun, you could end up dead. He is going to take you to jail one way or another. And if it's not just him, he's going to call all his buddies to take you to jail. Now is not the time to fight that. Later in a courtroom with a judge and a jury and your counsel is the time to fight an illegal arrest, an illegal search, an illegal seizure, any of that stuff. On the street, while the police officer is thinks he may be in danger for his life, is not the time. And most of these police officers are good people. They're trying to do a hard job, and they don't need crap from us, literally. 
So if you just go in and play it like you're a professional, because you are, I've never had any problem. Hey, I've been pulled over on my motorcycle. I've been pulled over for doing 95 and a 65 in my old Camaro when I drove the sports car. I've been pulled over for my ex expiration. I've been pulled over at 3 in the morning thinking I'm the only one around that's drunk. I've been pulled over for just about everything, when I, especially when I worked at the oil field. I got pulled over once a month by some police officer telling me something. But if you have a conversation with them, it's generally not a hard thing. So that's the quick thoughts on carrying a gun around police officers. Be professional, act professional. If things start to go sideways or if it's an official stop, talk to, notify him that you're carrying a gun. You don't want him to find out this the hard way. It's what they call professional courtesy. You're a professional, so you're gonna have a courtesy to another professional and say, hey, you know what, before this goes any farther, just wanna tell you, I am carrying a gun. It's on my right side. I don't want there to be any misgivings or any problems with that. I want to make sure that you know it and you're not surprised. And most of the guys are pretty cool. If you're dealing with another professional, he will be professional. If he's not, it could go sideways. So then you got to be more professional and calm down. If the guy jumps back and draws his gun, I've had a police officer jump back and grab his gun. And I'm like, whoa, 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 wait, hold on. Calm down. And he's screaming at me, don't make any furtive movements. Well, who the heck knows what a furtive movement is? Even police officers. Can you describe a furtive movie? All you need is about two paragraphs, right? So I was able to get my hands up, hold him up, talk to him, just like, hey man, hold on. Talk him down to putting his gun back into his holster by being very calm and just talking to him. And then once we got past that, we had a good interaction. He wrote me a ticket for no front license plate. I didn't have a front license plate in my car at the time. I thought it looked stupid in my old Camaro, so I just didn't have one. And I mean, sometimes we're just dumb and young. Um, but he turned out to be a good guy. He just got really excited when I told him on the side of the road that I had a gun. And he got really nervous about it. They're going to do what they're going to do. Be professional. Be polite. Move slowly. Talk to them the whole time. And you'll be okay. But have no misgivings about this. If that police officer goes for his gun, your life is in danger. You need to be the professional and talk through it. Well, thank you guys all for listening. This was just a quick one. I am outside of Sparks Firearms right now. I have got to run to work. You guys rock. Have a good day.